time travel, a trip to Japan, and Wario's lost his jelly. My name is Chris, and you are watching Display. His name is Mitch Matters, and he's traveling through time. He can't remember where it started, how it started. Each time he goes back, he leaves his memory behind. And in its place, he's given a vision. Something he must do. Timekeeper is a really awesome sci-fi series that just isn't getting the attention it deserves. Now it's super ambitious, really really well produced, and the premise itself is truly interesting. Now while I can't recommend this to children, adults will love the slick adventure into mystery. Click the annotation right here to see the original video. A great way to produce original content when tackling gaming is to think of how games are designed, how the developers have intended you to experience them, and then taking that and throwing it out the window. Machinima is a great example because games are not conceived as filmmaking platforms. So it's no surprise that when someone goes against the grain and covers one of today's most popular titles that they get something truly unique. Enjoy. My profession! You know, now that I think of it, I've always wanted to be a baby. Another way of being unique is to resort to parody. Take this clip for example, where Puppy Pro Gaming makes fun of the often ridiculous steps needed to unlock easter eggs in titles such as Battlefield 4. To view the original clip, click right here. Now for the third clue. You can find this in the map Crouching Tiger Sunken Dragon in the club in the middle of the map. If you go down these stairs here, you'll notice that there are five chairs in a rather peculiar position. Can you see what it is yet? Look a little bit closer. I'll superimpose a picture over the top. That's right, the five chairs form the outline of Lionel Richie. As you know, he was born in 1924, so that gives us the numbers two and four. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, oh. Good morning, Kamek. Oh, is that your definition of good morning? Oh, well, our little camping adventure is over now. I guess it's time for our breakfast. Ugh, yeah. All right, Bowser, get us the breakfast. What? 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 I don't know where it is. What? what do you mean you don't know where it is? What, what? Listen, you are in charge of it. Oh, yeah. There's something really refreshing about experiencing a story told using plushies. It proves that your only true limitations are your imagination. Now while the pacing isn't fantastic, this is just but a tiny little nitpick for a video that is both unique and inspiring. If you'd like to see the entire episode, you can click on the annotation right here. Our next video offers up a great alternative to the typical Let's Build formula, inspiring itself off of Fire UK's elaborate use of mid-air dolly shots and camera pans. Now building can take hours if not weeks, and so by using well-composed time lapses, you can build now and then worry about the commentary and post-production, which is fantastic for people like me who have a hard time being interesting on the spot. Check this out. The, 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 the horns, each horns flows into the correct part of the pillar yeah it's 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 it's, it's silly but we I like it. it I like it I do like attention for detail exactly and here you can see that we redesigned the altar if if you are 
rare enough. You could have seen that we built like something with a roof, etc. But we then redesigned it and we used beacons, which you will see. There's obviously a huge gaming presence right here on YouTube, but most people tend to focus on Let's Plays. However, whenever a big controversial news story breaks, people demand discussion. That's why people like Total Biscuit are so popular here, because they often go in depth into the video game industry. Now in this clip, TerraVision ponders on why next gen titles don't seem to have a long life, why people, you know, after a short amount of time seem to cast them away and lose interest. I'm going to be talking about why hyped up games have been dying out so far since the coming of the next gen consoles. I will have to make this video into a series and separate each theory into different videos because it will take too long to put in one video. But yeah, you guys must have realized hyped up big award winning titles like Titanfall which only lasted around a month and Watch Dogs which didn't even pass two weeks died out fast. And this has been the story for a lot of games. Vlogs are something that everyone should study, even if you're not interested in making them. Why? Because the key to a strong and dedicated audience is your personality. Now it doesn't matter whether your visuals or your audio are super impressive if you have the personality of a piece of cardboard. Now take Charlie Chaplin for example, he's one of the most famous actors of all time and he was mute. Well, at least in his videos. In this clip, Christina gives us a tour of Japan and we don't only learn about the country but about Christina herself. Check it out. Right now we're going up to make it our own music box. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Step one, choose your music. Step two, pick your music box theme. Smirky has recently become somewhat of a celebrity here on Freedom this past week. He won a sponsorship with the network, and with good reason. Why? Because he's constantly active in the community, and is very passionate about helping others grow. Now recently Smirky started a campaign with Charity Water to raise money for clean water projects. This is a reminder that YouTube isn't just a platform for entertainment, but for awareness. If you'd like to learn more about his campaign, you can click on the annotation right here. I want everyone to click on that annotation. Unfortunately, this nice, fresh, clean water is not accessed by everybody. In fact, in this water crisis, about 1 billion people are affected by it and do not have this clean water. Unfortunately, the water crisis is spread across multiple locations across the globe. Thanks for watching. I'm proud to announce that episode 3 will be exclusively about gaming. Now although I already have most of my picks already figured out, if you have original content that you would like to submit to the show, please fill out the application form linked down below. If you want a better idea of the kinds of content that I like to choose for display, be sure to follow us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash displayonfreedom. There I'll also be launching an exclusive new series called Display Plus, a follow-up series to display. And finally, tomorrow I will be unveiling exclusively on Facebook our first contest. Thank you guys. Until next week, I'm Chris. Take care.